Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to build a login screen using C programming. So in this video we are gonna cover topics like file handling structures and functions in C. I have previously made the video on login screen. So if you haven't watched the video I'll put the link in description and this project will be the updated version of that project. So make sure you watch that video also. Okay, so first of all we will run an infinite loop so that our main menu will come again and again and in this infinite loop we will run a switch case and the input for our switch case is gonna be our main menu the first case is sign up function the second case will be login function the third case will be forgot function and the fourth case gonna be change password and the fifth case is delete password and in the sixth case we're gonna terminate the program if the user inputs other than any of these numbers we're gonna print Now we're gonna create our main menu. So let's first declare our menu function. It's gonna be of int type. Now the definition. So first let's print the heading. It's gonna be main menu. So the first option is sign up. And the second option is login. The third option is forgot password or username. You're gonna create for both. And now we have to return this C variable to the main function which is the input of our switch case. So that's our main menu. I think we forgot something. To use exit function we need to include a header file called stdlib. So let's include a header file. Ok so let's move towards sign up function. So let's declare it first. It's gonna be of void type. Okay, so first we need to declare a structure because we were asked many things from the users like first name, last name, username, phone number, gender, etc. etc. And we don't wanna be declare these things again and again in every functions like after the sign up function we're gonna be making login function and we need to print all these things uh, to the out output screen and if we don't declare structures uh, then we need to declare these all all the variables again and again so yet to solve this problem we need to uh, declare a structure so let's declare a structure and first thing we want to ask the user is his first name i think so let's declare a string called first name 20 character is sufficient and the second is last name and the third thing we need to ask the user is his username like in every gmail or every time you create an account you need to select the username so that's what we want to ask the user so let's declare username Let's declare another string for his phone number. And his DOB date of birth. And 
now we need to declare a variable for the structure so let's declare the variable name u so first of all let's print okay so what are you gonna ask the user first i think it's gonna be his first name so let's ask the user his first name to enter his first name now let's scan f s for string and first name The third thing is gonna be to enter his username to choose his username basically Okay, so now we're gonna ask the user to enter his password. So let's ask the user to enter his password. And for taking password, we're not gonna use uh, a scanf function because we don't wanna show the password to the user. So for that, we're gonna make an, another function called take password. So let's make that function it's gonna be of void type so let's copy that code from our previous video so let's copy this Okay, so now we need to ask the user to confirm his password. And for that we, we are using scanf function because we want to show the password to the user. So for that we need to declare another string. We are going to call this pass2 uh, and this will be of 20 characters. So let's enter pass2. Now we need to compare these two strings. If these two strings are not equal, then the string function will throw 1 or minus 1. And in this case, we're going to print incorrect password. Okay, so in that case, in the incorrect password, we need to ask the user to enter his password again. And for that, we need to use a go to statement. So let's uh, use go to statement. Okay, so let's run this code. So choose the option one, and the first name is let's call iron man username enter phone number will be okay so because of the some reason it is not taking input for the gender i think okay so i think it is happening because while taking an input string uh, the buffer does not get uh, cleared for the next input and consider the previous input for the same and 
sometimes it's happen because uh, when we take input string first and then after that we take a character and to solve this problem we need to use f flush and it is used to clear the stream and the buffer so let's run the code again now it's taking the gender password will be iron it should be in the next line Okay, so now we want to hold the user for some times uh, here so we are using get cs for that and now we want to store that information of the user in a text file uh, so for that we need to create a text file so let's create a text file called account.txt so now we need to write the whole structure to the file so to write the whole structure to the file uh, we use fwrite function fwrite function is used to write content of the structure in a file it takes four arguments first uh, the structure what you're going to print second one is the size of the file size of the content that you're going to write in the file And the third one is uh, how many variables or how many records you're gonna write in the file so we're gonna write one record and the fourth one is file pointer now we should close our file okay so this is our sign up function so let's run our code So that's all for today guys i hope you enjoy the video in the next part of this video we will create login function so make sure you will watch that video also till then goodbye